The overall goal of this procedure is to assess the cytotoxic activity of human NK cells. This method can be used to monitor patients with either functional or classic NK cell deficiency. The main advantages of this flow cytometry-based technique are that it's sensitive, reproducible, and faster than standard NK cell functional assessment methods, such as the radioactive chromium release assay. This method can be used to test novel NK cell targeted therapies, as well as previously unachievable in-depth multi-parameter flow cytometric analysis of NK cell biology. Begin by using density gradient separation to isolate the peripheral blood mononuclear cells, or PBMCs, from whole blood samples according to standard protocols. Using PBMCs instead of purified NK cells is greatly beneficial when dealing with clinical specimens. Dilute the isolated cells to a 5 times 10 to the 6 cells per milliliter concentration in complete medium and immediately collect K562 target cells by centrifugation. Resuspend 5 times 10 to the 5th K562 cells in 500 microliters of fresh medium supplemented with 1% FBS. Next, label the target cells with 500 microliters of CFSE working solution and gently mix the cell solution by pipetting 3 to 5 times. After 10 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius protected from light, quench the labeling reaction with 10 milliliters of complete medium for 10 minutes in the dark at room temperature. At the end of the quenching incubation, collect the cells by centrifugation and resuspend the labeled target cell pellet in one milliliter of complete medium for counting. Then dilute the cell.